Hey guys, it's Osa's Avenge, and welcome back to Minecraft. Lately, you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about my HD skins, how to upload them, how to get them to work, how to make them. So, I thought that today I would take a little bit of time to show you guys how it's done. HD skins are a feature from more player models. It has a lot of features, such as the ears that are on my head. You can add tails. You can get a mermaid tail while you're in the water. But one of the main features that I really like to use is the HD skin feature. I've used it in Pixel Sanctuary with this skin and also my mermaid skin like this. So let's get into a couple of ways to make an HD skin. The first thing you have to do is open up your image editing software. In my case, I use Photoshop, but you can use anything from Paint, Paint.net, Paint3D, GIMP, any of those image editing softwares. What you have to do is generally the same, just the steps, the buttons you have to press, those will be different, as each program has different features. Before I start, there's actually going to be a couple of different things I'm going to cover in this video. If you're just interested in how I paint my HD skins, you can go to the timestamp here. If you just need help uploading your HD skin, you can go to the timestamp here. I'm going to go through the resizing steps for both 1.7 and 1.8 plus. As I'm using a 1.8 skin, we're going to cover that first. So resizing this skin to be HD, all you have to do is image, image size, and make both the width and the height 1024. Your resolution can say 72, and make sure that you have resample nearest neighbor hard edges selected in the dropdown. Once you hit OK, you'll see that it gets a lot bigger, but it will still keep your pixels crisp. Once you resize it, this is pretty much all there is to making an HD skin. If you like, you can add some extra high definition features such as the face or eyes. You can export this for web. Make sure you have transparency checked. Save that out. And there you go, that's an HD skin for 1.8. To make this for 1.7, we're gonna go back to our original 1.8 skin. You're gonna do image canvas size. Make sure you're on pixels and change your height to 32. This anchor point is super important. If you go ahead and hit OK now and proceed to cut, you'll see it crops everything to the center. So let's go back and change this to the height 32 and put your anchor point in the top middle so everything will crop going upwards. And hit OK, proceed. And you're left with just the top part, which is all that you need for 1.7 skin. Now to make this one HD, all you have to do is follow the same steps with the image size, make your width 1024 and your height 512. Again, make sure to check resample with your nearest neighbor hard edges and hit OK. And for this one, maybe we put some laces on her boots. Save for web, make sure transparency is checked. Save it wherever you need it to go. Hit save, and there you go. You have an HD skin for 1.7. We'll test these out a little bit later in the video. Now, as for how I paint my HD skins, a lot goes into how I paint my HD skins. If you even look at just my layer section, everything is very meticulous. From separating out the front hair sections and the skirt even, the legs are all on separate layers. Separating everything on different layers will help keep you organized and make things very easy to change. A lot of programs have layering features now, which makes this very easy to do. So now we're going to get into how I actually paint my HD skins. What we're going to do for this skin is we are going to give her a new shirt. So I've already sectioned off where the new shirt has to go and created a new layer to replace it. So everywhere that's white is going to be the new shirt. This is the top of her neck or the top of her torso, which is essentially her neck. Then the bottom of the torso, the left side, the front, the right side, the back, and this is the arm or sleeve. It's extra helpful to select the area with the magic wand as well so you don't go outside the bounds. First, I'm going to work on the sleeves. I'm gonna make a new layer called sleeves and fill it with a grayish color. One Photoshop tool that I find super helpful is that if you double click your layer, you can add a layer style. In here, you can do a color overlay. So if you select it, it's going to change the color. And once you're in here, you can change it to whatever color you want. For now, I'm just gonna use the gray that I selected. And now I just go ahead and decorate the base layer of my sleeve. Okay, so now that I have my base layer of my sleeve, I'm gonna go ahead and add darker and lighter areas. So I'm gonna make a new layer and name it dark. And now I'm gonna actually go ahead with my paintbrush tool, adjust my sizes, 
And I'm going to paint in some shadows uh, wherever I think they need to be. This is where that color overlay trick is going to come in real handy. Since I drew my darkness in white, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click, do color overlay, and select a darker gray. So that's how we're kind of going to do our shadows. I don't like how it's not that blended, so I'm going to take the smudge tool and go ahead and just smudge it all around. In addition to the shadows, we can add light areas too. And if I don't like how the contrast is, I can change the opacity to make it a little less stark. From there, I follow the same steps for the rest of the outfit. To make sure that your shadow and highlight layers have the same color, you can pull down one layer, hit copy layer styles, go back to the layer that you want it to match, hold it down, and hit paste layer style. Thank you. 
And that's pretty much it. That's exactly how I draw my clothing items and my hair for HD skins in Photoshop. Now let's go test these out in Minecraft. So now that we have our HD skins made, we need to upload them. You can use any image uploading site that you like. I happen to be using Imager. So you're gonna do a new post and add your images. Once you upload your skin, there are two copy links. These are not the ones that we actually need. While yes, it will give you the image for more player models, we need an image link that ends in .png. So you're going to right click your image, open image in new tab, and now we have the web address ending in .png. So you're gonna go ahead and copy that and open up whichever version of Minecraft you're using with more player models. First, let's talk about 1.8. You're gonna hit F12 by default to open up more player models. Make sure to hit config in the top left. Here you'll see a box that says skin URL. Paste your link there. As a reminder, you need to make sure that it has .png. Next, hit reload skins. Now our HD skin has been applied. And that is all you need to do to add an HD skin to 1.8. Now let's try 1.7. You're gonna hit the same button to open up the GUI, F12. Here, the layout is a little bit different. At the bottom left, there's a box that says skin URL. You're gonna paste your 1.7 skin here and hit reload skins on the right. There we go, we have our HD skins with our little shoelaces. What's also cool is you can save different versions. So if you hit save settings, add a name, we're gonna call this one HD shoelace. Save that. I'm gonna delete the old URL and paste the HD painted skin. Hit reload skins, and that's all there is to it. You can save this one too. Now, if I wanted to go back to the old one, all I have to do is load, look for it on the list, HD shoelace, load. There we go. And that is all there is to making HD skins for more player models. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, and you can always subscribe to me for some Let's Play action. If you're interested in how I do some of my other graphics for my channel, leave a comment below to suggest another tutorial video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!